E-Stratio Third Power, Video 5B, Inputting After Lecture. This is the continuation of the first set of slides for Video 5. Creative flashcards draw simple pictures because the brain prefers pictures. A picture is worth a thousand words. Creative flashcards use different color pens and color paper. Colors will give your brain hints to the meaning of the word. For example, a simple yellow sun instead of the letter O and a green tree instead of the letter T will help to remember the meaning of photosynthesis. Use color to group words. For example, green paper for words that are related to photosynthesis. Creative flashcards. Use different font types, such as red color, bold, and capital letters if it's important. Also use different size font, big if it's more important than small. In this example, you see centripetal force shown as a picture with sentry as bold red font. Creative flashcards. Create your own font. Here we use solid purple dots to write the letter S to help you remember that Staph aureus is gram positive cocci and it causes skin infections. Creative flashcards. Write your word anywhere on the card. For example, write noble gas on the right side of your card because that's where they're found on the periodic table. Creative flashcards. Turn your card vertical instead of horizontal. For example, with an anatomy word like brachial, if you turn your card vertical, you can imagine a body laid out standing up. And now you can write your word brachial where the arm would be. Creative flashcards. You will remember more than something someone else made because your brain made connections while you made these cards. With pre-made flashcards, your brain will have less time to process the info because you did not make them and thus you have fewer connections. Complex memorization technique. Story or linkage is good to remember a list or a cycle. A story is created with a series of events associated with your list or cycle that you must know. Story or linkage by pathway. Link the new words to a familiar path through a specific place you know well, like your house. The longer your list, then the more stops you will have along the path. In this example, we will have six stops, starting at the door and running through the living room. Story or linkage by pathway. Example, I will link this to the first six cranial nerves. 1 olfactory, 2 optic, 3 ocular motor, 4 trochlear, 5 trigeminal, and 6 abducens. Story or language by pathway, I would link number 1, which is olfactory, at the door with associating with the smell of bread from olfactory. Number 2 would be the coffee table, which is optic. At the coffee table, you see glasses on a bookworm. Number three, which is next to the TV, ocular motor. You see two moving eyeballs because it literally means to move eyes. Number four would be at the TV, trochlear. That is throw a ball breaking the TV. Number five, trigeminal. Sounds like tricycle pedaling. So you see the tricycle next to the TV. Number six, abducens. Here, two sumo wrestlers bump their abdomens. These linkages use associations to make crazy, vivid, and unusual connections. Try using as many of the senses as possible. It seems complicated at first, but it gets easier with practice. In the example, number one, which is olfactory, you use smell. Number three, which is ocular motor, you use sight. Number five, Trigeminal, you use a sense of touch. And number six, abducent, you use a sense of hearing. Story or linkage freestyle. Write your own story using the tips already mentioned and creativity to associate the list or cycle to the events in your story. Brain rule. 
Start inputting within 24 hours after lecture while the contents are still fresh in your mind. Brain rule. Rule of seven. Input seven items, plus or minus one, at a time because inputting too much will overwhelm the brain. If using flashcards, go through six to eight cards at a time, not the entire stack. Brain rule. Input a small chunk of one lecture at a time, like seven items, to space out your studying. Study daily to prevent the materials from piling up. Be creative. Combine these different tools and tips to make your own mnemonics. It's okay to make them silly, unusual, or personal. This makes learning fun, fast, and easy because you created it. Your brain will remember more easily what you have created as compared to what someone else has created. The first time you try these techniques will take you the longest, so start practicing now. What's next? Well, now you're ready for video six, outputting before exam.